Hey there everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can download a OneNote onto a Windows device. Okay, so for this one I'm actually going to show you how we would do it if you wanted to download our student guide because it kind of forms the same premise of that someone has designed and created a OneNote. They basically said it's available to download and you can have your own copy of it but you need to know the steps which do it. So we have a couple of them. We have these student designed OneNotes, which are specifically um, designed to walk students through the features of OneNote. Um, so what you would do as a teacher is you would download a copy of this entire OneNote and then you would um, have your copy and then distribute the pages out and the activities out that you wanted to. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to probably focus on this iPad one because it's quite a common scenario in that the teachers are working on a Windows 10 device, but their students are on iPads. So they need to download a copy for themselves. Now, if you're working on a Mac, there is a separate Mac video and you're following very similar steps. It's just a couple of differences into getting it onto a Mac. So let's pretend that, you know, we're going to download this um, iPad version of this notebook. So, um, you know, we need to go to where it is in regards to a download position. Now, I'm just going to flick to what you would see. So jumping into a private browser here. And for this particular one, we want the Windows one. So I'm going to open that up. And here we can just see this little OneNote icon. Now, clicking on it won't really do anything. It won't load anything. So what we actually have to do is click download here. Now, that is just going to download into our downloads. <laughs> we'll wait for that to run through. It shouldn't be too long for this one, a couple of seconds left. And then this is actually, Windows makes this um, a lot easier. Obviously it's their own product. So inevitably they've made it a bit easier for us. So here we have the, the location. We can just, depending on your browser, we can you can click to open it straight. It's file. I wanted to let that leave just depending on, everyone might be using a different browser. So I'm gonna come into here. I'm gonna go into my downloads and there it is there. Now, if I just double click on that, what's going to happen is it's going to op open OneNote for Office 365, so not OneNote for Windows 10 app. Um, so that should be standard on all Windows devices, especially in the Windows 10 environment. And so what we will see here is that it's got a name. So I might, I'm just going to, you know, then change this to, you know, um, Nathan, because it's going to be my copy. Um, then I might say, you know, where does it live or where do I? Where do I want it to live? So I can choose different locations if need, bar, need be, depending on what I'm using it for. I might be using different OneDrive. So I actually might just put here in my, my personal OneDrive and go select, and then I'm gonna go create. And so this is going to start loading this version up. There it is in the Office 365 OneNote version. Now, if that's the version you used, you're done. You're pretty much, you've finished. Um, to just bring it over to the other version, which is the Windows 10 app version, um, all we need to do is just make sure that they're both using the same OneDrive. So um, my both of mine have both my accounts logged into it. But when I choose that more notebook option, okay, um, it will come up in here. As long as you've got both of those accounts that are available, now I'm kind of probably rushing a bit through this a bit because it's still loading in the other version. But as long as you've got those two, so both are in the same account and both um, OneNote versions are using the same, it will load into your Windows 10 version um, as well. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. I hope that if you need any help, you pop it in the comment section and we are more than happy to help you out. Any questions about the student OneNote ones as well, pop them in there and more than happy to see what we can do. Apart from that, we'll see you later. Cheers. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And to keep up to date, don't forget to follow us. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comment section. Cheers.